Hi, we're at Talk Back for Teens, and this is Youth News. I'm Veronica Cardone. I'm Dean Lawrence. And today we have a special story with the Wilson Foundation chess team. They just got back from Super Nationals, and they have won sixth place. So guys, can you tell us a little bit how it feels to be champions? It feels pretty good. You know, when you go to a national tournament and you place in the top ten, it always feels good. Especially being so young, most of you guys are going to be freshmen in high school. So are you excited to be here and doing this and doing something that you love? Yeah. Yes. It's over 5,300 students from all around the country. And you guys were sixth place out of all of those. That's, I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. Awesome. It, yeah. it even made, you know, the newspaper. So that's a big impressive right there, guys. So <laughs> I'll give you a little clap for that. <laughs> and part of the Super Nationals. How many times have you guys gone now? I've gone four times. Uh, I think Webster's gone four, Connor's gone four times, Patrick and Theo have gone twice, and Peter's gone once. Us three play soccer. Uh, he was on the modified team. Uh, me and him play basketball. A lot of us play, te all of us play tennis. Um, yeah, we play a lot of different sports. So very sports oriented as well as chess. So chess is not a game just for nerds. Yeah. No. Okay. I've never played before, but want to pick up the game. What, what kind of suggestions can you give to them? Practice. Yeah, find someone you know who also plays chess and just play a lot, play a lot with them. And then if you get to a certain level where you want to take it farther, you can go like chess camp or you can play local tournaments. Do you think you're a little disadvantaged if you're young and or old and you've never played before, like myself? <laughs> I've never played before. I mean. If you haven't played before, you're probably not going to be like winning tournaments. But always. you know, you can always get better. And you can just work towards your goal. I've lost to eight-year-olds more times than I can remember. Wow. They're all like, gifted and started when they were probably like four. Oh yeah. Yeah, chess really isn't about age. I mean, he's beaten adults and probably lost to seven-year-olds. Mm -hmm. Same for me. You know, it's it's not about age. Mm -hmm. I've beaten people who are 90 and then lost to people oh. who are like six. <laughs> How do they react to that? <laughs> uh. I mean, sometimes it's not even surprising. Sometimes it just mm -hmm. happens. You don't get the 80-year-old man chasing you with his cane or something. <laughs> you beat me! No? No. Never? No. Today we have the uh, George Zimmerman case um, and Trayvon Martin. This has been a hot topic for um, a little while now. Uh, you know, just the, the verdict was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I was uh, very pleased with the verdict. Uh, simply because the verdict, which was stated um, that George Zimmerman was non guilty. Yeah, Z Z George Zimmerman was acquitted for everything. He was found not guilty on any charges. And, um, you know, I just think that I think if, if it was, it would have been more reasonable to, you know, at, le at least uh, uh, manslaughter. At, at least a manslaughter. Um, I feel that I, I'm completely in agreement with you. I feel like the, since the court went on for so long and so many people have made it such a racial decision, it, in the end, they should have made it about whether or not somebody had killed somebody in the end, you yeah, know? It. It's not a matter of race. It's not a matter of what, you know, it was a poor little kid. In the end, it was somebody died and that's the way it should have been. Right. I think, um, you know the 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 reason why it was you know made such a racial decision because of the you know the evidence and I think a lot I think on one on one hand you have you know a lot of African Americans pushing like you know this was this was definitely a racial thing this was definitely a racial me personally I wasn't I, I wasn't there you know I'm not George Zimmerman I wasn't in the courtroom so I can't say for 100 percent sure that this was a racial issue but um, on the other hand you have like um, you know, on the other, you know, other people saying, well, no, this was not a racial verdict. And I think we got to come to a kind of like an understanding where, you know, in the past, and it does happen quite frequently, where there is still racial injustices, there is still racism. And so we can't act like it doesn't exist anymore. And it, it's not a possibility that this could have been. But then we also can't jump to conclusions and yell, oh, racial, 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 <laughs> when we don't really know for certain that that was the case. And so, you know. I definitely think that this court case is going to be something that's remembered in the community. It's going to be something that's going to be part of this generation. And it's definitely reshaping America. You're going to see it in a new light, you know. People are definitely going to be choosing sides that maybe not have been the same if it was 50 years ago. Right. So we also have something really special this week. A famous celebrity has passed away from the cast Glee. Corey um, Meneth has passed away. He was 31, and they have at this point they have no idea 
how he had died. People have speculated it was drug overdoses, but we're unsure. And, um, you know, that was just, you know, very interesting fact. He was 31 <laughs> in the uh, show on Glee. You know, he was, he was supposed to be a, a teenager in, in high school. And so, you know, and, and the, from his appearances, it's kind of hard to see that it was a, you know, it, you couldn't tell by looking at him that he was over, uh, he was older than a teenager. And so, you know, I thought that was interesting. But, um, you know, that's unfortunate. Yeah, once again, that was Corey Monteith. So, what other, um, we have another story again today from, again, with the celebrity. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, they, um, they're, having, they're having a daughter. And yeah, the name is Northwest. <laughs> it's a little strange. Northwest. Yeah. And so I thought I found that very interesting. Yeah, most people think, you know, Northwest, uh, oh gosh, you know, another person's naming their child something weird like the time when Gwyneth Paltrow named her daughter Apple. You know, you never know what's <laughs> gonna happen with these names. So I think, you know, I think if you if you really listen to it, just it's it's what's funny when you put the first name and the last name together. But I mean if you knew somebody in real life and their name was North, I don't think it would be that out of place. You know what I mean? I just don't think it would be out of place. I just think it's funnier because it's right. an because assemble. Of, right. Yeah. <laughs> Northwest. So, yeah, I just, you know, very interesting. And then there, there are worse names, you know. <laughs> That's, they, didn't do, they didn't do the absolute worst they could right. have done. <laughs> Wasn't blanket. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, is there a reason? Do you think that they named that? Because, um, I mean, it's, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why you would name your child North. I mean, outside of the obvious fact that his um, last name is The grandmother, Chris Jenner, said that she reported that the reason that the couple chose the name was because it was supposed to be North as the highest point, and it's supposed to be the highest point of their love together, or highest point of the two of them together, and that's why they chose North. So little details, you know, I guess come up with names. I guess so. <laughs> And then the last story we have today is the royal baby is due any day, and it's going to be a big thing that's stunned the nation. When the wedding came in, when Princess, um, well, when the Duchess Kate and Prince William came together and they got married, oh, two years ago, they're now expecting a child that should be due any day, and it's actually she's two days past due, so the baby should be born any time, and I'm sure it'll be a media frenzy when it does. Cool. So. That is, this has been Talk Back for um, Teens Youth News. I'm Veronica. I'm Dean Lawrence. Make sure you tweet us, you Facebook, um, hit the website, uh, Talk Back, Back for, for Teens. teens.
<laughs> Talkback15.com. Yep. Thanks for joining us tonight.